Can we talk about it a little bit quickly, a little bit, talk a little bit quickly about the Balenciaga Spring 2025 collection? I really fucking enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the soundtrack more than anything. I'm not going to lie because I watched it live. I don't usually watch fashion shows live, but I did watch this live via the live stream and it was fucking sick. Um, I think the one that I liked the most was obviously the Beyonce, so no, the Britney Spears Give Me More remix. If I'm not mistaken, I think Boyfriend did it. So Boyfriend is Quintet, which is ironically um in his name, um is fucking Demna's Boyfriend. And he's obviously, he's an artist as well. Um, he did a really cool remix of Sunglasses and Night for a Balenciaga collection. And that was a soundtrack for it. And he did a really sick remix for Britney Spears' Gimme More, which probably won't release because Britney you know, Spears is known to be quite um, tight when it comes to clearing records. But that remix, man, was so sick. It really matched really well with, this, with, the, with the collection. Um, they had the models walking down a heightened runway that looked like a dining table which was quite cool and all the um, guests were basically sat on the sides i'm not sure if they were sat on really high chairs or if they were standing but i loved it it was like this mahogany runway that basically looked like a dining table it was fucking sick um the models came out first wearing lingerie um, which is something i haven't i don't think i've seen in previous Balenciaga collections i'm not gonna lie so mostly like nightwear esque looking stuff um most of this stuff kind of reminded me of the lady again i've never watched sex in the city but a lot of this stuff reminds me of the lady in sex in the city the one that no one likes anymore um i think she's blonde um and it kind of reminds me of her i think there was a scene in sex in the city where she's kind of wearing lingerie with a fur coat and shit so it kind of reminds me of that sort of kind of vibe um so that looked really really cool um and it continues you got some more um dresses here and gowns and then, of course, when it switches up the music, actually, Britney Spears give me more. That's when you get into the kind of more what you deem to be like streetwear, casual wear type of stuff that I'm obviously more interested in. The denim looks were really strong for me. I really like some of this stuff, especially the back. Um, the back of it was all kind of exposed, open and tied with lace. No, tied with like satin sort of lace at the back. As you can see, so some of it is draping here towards the bottom of the woman's jeans. And I really like this jean jacket as well, how it's cinched here on the waist. It's basically a jean jacket that's also, it's kind of a, a jean jacket that's cut into a t shirt. No, a jean jacket that's cut into the shape of a button up, which is really fucking cool. I love the shape of it. Um, the glasses that are going to come up. Ooh, ho, ho, the sunglasses. I absolutely adore these glasses. So they essentially, if you can't see the picture, they're kind of like, they're basically like a visor um, that wraps around your head. And if I'm, I think I saw a picture of it from the actual showroom i think it goes around the entirety of your head so i think they might have to sell it based on the size i think if i'm not mistaken i don't think it even wraps around i think it wraps around your entire head so it's not even there's no like things go around your ears but it basically covers the entirety of your nose and all your eyes so you get this really cool amazing v-shape um the bomber jacket also is really fucking strong and i also like the addition styling piece of the low-rise jeans the low rise jeans with the fucking pubic hairs popping out from the top is fucking hilarious. Um, I love the flip of the G star um, on the jeans, which I'm assuming that's where they got the patterns from or the shapes. Um, if you know, you know, back in the day, G star jeans used to be the ones wearing in school and stuff. They kind of gone out of gone out of trend now. Um, I think a lot of kids that wear Miri jeans probably would like G star jeans. Actually, they kind of have the same sort of look, but I love that flip there because that's what G star logo looks like. So that's pretty cool. And you've also got these new sneakers from Balenciaga too, which kind of look like foam posits, and they kind of remind me also of shocks. So they kind of look like foam posits, but with zips. And they also look like shocks, but they're exaggerated, which I also love. And you have to give Demna a lot of credit for that. His ability to always design or Balenciaga team to always put together really new, interesting, fresh silhouettes for sneakers is really cool. Kind of always challenging themselves, never resting on their laurels because they could have easily just done multiple variations of the Triple S, but they've always kind of changed different silhouettes. They've always taken inspiration from other brands. Like there's like an Asics type version shoe. There's a New Balance type version shoe. Now they're going down a Nike route, but it's always in a very quintessential Balenciaga style. Like this is a very exaggerated cartoon, almost like shape of a shoe. But it also kind of reminds you of like Demna. Cause I think Demna, when he wears stuff, I'm not if I'm not mistaken, from what I've been able to see of him personal style wise, it feels like he purposely buys shoes bigger than what his actual shoe size is. Maybe he likes that kind of like feel. So this kind of makes me think that might be part of the inspiration of making the shoes look really bulbous and wide. 
because the kid's foot is probably you know somewhere on the sides here but there's all this extra sort of like cushioning and material on the outside to make your feet look really fucking big and preposterous but i quite like it i'm not gonna lie um obviously we continue there let's go on let's get this off there more looks here you got more bomber jackets again in the black that looks fucking brilliant um you've got a doubt you've got what you'd call uh I don't know what, what the shape of these kind of jackets are called, but you've got a lot of them in Uniqlo. Um, again, it's cinched up on the waist as well with the low rise showing as well. Um, I'm not too sure what those sneakers are. They look a bit different to the ones I saw. Okay, same sort of thing, but maybe in like a black with the suede, they look really cool there also. You've also got more of the low rise jeans. Again, with the visors, with the fucking sunglasses, looks fucking fantastic. Um, and then one of my favorite jackets in the collection is this one in look number 19 this brown jacket kind of reminds me of a leather jacket that i think um luebe did i think it was luebe they did a leather jacket similar to this that kendall was wearing a lot and um what's her name taylor russell was wearing a lot as well if you know you i think you know what i'm talking about it's basically a bomber a leather bomber jacket um with a collar um that is really fucking beautiful the leather looks nice and supple it's a nice short sort of style really kind of exaggerated and blown out sort of um what you call it sleeves really fucking cool i love it i really like it and again that, that those visor glasses are so fucking hard like really fucking hard i'm not gonna lie i'd wear the fuck out of that we continue um we've got more looks again here with the jacket um he's been doing a lot of this stuff recently where he's got this like when he makes a jacket sometimes you'll have attached to it um another jacket stitched onto it that kind of acts as like a hood but it's not really a hood it's almost like a thing that you know so it's kind of a cool little style i'm assuming that's probably inspired by something real um maybe it's a maybe it's an eastern european thing where the women maybe have extra jackets they have in their bag and they kind of throw that over their head so that's kind of a cool little thing that i quite like in terms of a styling thing that also is added um as a design element again you've got another jacket here that i don't know what material that is oh that's really nice as well i didn't see that up close that's almost like a knit material it's almost like a cardigan but it's been made into the shape of a bomber that's really fucking nice i'm not gonna lie that is beautiful i'm not gonna lie that's really fucking cool and again you got the low rise um g star inspired jeans with the paneling and shit with the nice effects and you know he's i think demna you can say has definitely been the one that's been popularizing this big exaggerated return to 90s early 2000s jenko jeans sort of style of jeans but I like that he's kind of gone back again to the drawing board and made them a little bit more tailored. They're a little bit slim, even though they look really big. They're not as baggy as the previous jeans. So, you know, always, always kind of innovating and changing things and being one step ahead. Um, then you've got another, oh, look at that jacket. Fuck me. Another really nice one as well. And I think they're, they're all different styles. So this looks like a, what? this looks like a Harrington. This is, this is like an exaggerated version of a Harrington. So it looks like he's taken like a regular aviator jacket, an MA1 and a cardigan and sort of like, you know, exaggerated it and made it look really bulky and kind of made it obviously very short. Um, but I like that this is kind of a Harrington. I think that's a Harrington jacket. I'm pretty sure, especially in that color, it looks like a Harrington. So he's taken a Harrington and kind of flipped it. And then you've also got the shoes here that I, feed, that I spoke about earlier, the foam posit inspired shoes. And these are in a new buck sort of suede style which is pretty nice um more jackets here the jean suit is really nice as well um oh I, li I really like this this kind of flip on the adidas um collaboration i did previously which is kind of cool because you still get the same effect with the extra line so what how many stripes i got here five so you know it's not official collaboration with adidas but you still get the same look and effect and then you've got this really cool balenciaga logo which i really love actually which is basically it looks like an o but it's basically meant to be a b it's very 90s inspired as well kind of reminds me of the aol logo and again you've got the visor that visor is so fucking cool that those glasses man i'm all i want a pair of those for sure because i think um there's been a trend i've noticed of i forgot what the brand is i think the guy from oh that's it do you watch uh there's a show called um tulsa king with sylvester stallone and the main character, obviously, is Vessel Stallone in that show. He's always wearing really cool sunglasses, but he has this particular brand that he wears. There's a particular shape anyway, style. And I think I saw Tony Ayo in the video recently wearing one where they almost look like blind glasses. Like they almost look like the glasses that Stevie Wonder wears. That's also coming in vogue. Like they sort of like wrap around the entirety of your face. They're like a square. It kind of blocks off everything. They look fucking wild. Um, but I kind of like that style. 
So that's why I like the visor also because you can't really see anything. Yeah, I mean, it literally covers your nose and your eyes and your eyebrows. Like, I fucking love that shit. This looks so fucking hard. Um, I'm assuming they'll be they'll be they'll be very expensive as well. Um, again, really nice, cool look. Again with the head wrap. Um, that's almost like a bomber jacket. That's been that's like a bomber, and it's just like an anorak, an anorak sleeves or something, or the top wraps around your head. Pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I like that. Um, let's continue. One of the one of the strongest looks is look 27. This look with the motorcycle jacket, <sighs> hard as fuck. I'm assuming a lot of rappers are gonna want this. I think a lot of rappers are gonna fucking want this for sure. This is so fucking hard. It's just, it it kind of looks like you know like an actual motorcycle jacket, the ones that's got padding on it that you're meant to wear when you're riding a superbike or whatnot. Um, that was what it looks like, and it's really exaggerated. Balenciaga logos and patches all over it. It's got a really cool BB logo on the inside, on the top front as well that I really like. The perforated panels here, the top here is really nice. The leather looks very, very good quality. And you've got matching, um, what you call it, leather pants also. And I think the fastening, I think the zip is at the back in it because there's no sort of zip or closure in the front. So I'm assuming there's probably some sort of zip on the back or on the sides. And it's got reinforced knees as well. Motorcycle boots. Oh, shit. These are really sick. Really fucking sick. That's a really nice look, yeah. Don't be surprised if you see your favorite rapper trying to wear that recently. Again, a nice jacket there again. Oh, that upside down down jacket is fucking beautiful. I love this actually with the fashion designer spray paint. I'm assuming a lot of, I don't know why Asian people love this sort of stuff, but I think you're going to see a lot of uh, Asian people wearing this shit. They love a, they love a piece of clothing with a, with a, just a, you know, with just words on it. So they love, they're probably going to be all over this fashion designer on the front of the jacket for sure. Especially if they go to a fashion school, they're going to be fucking all over this. They're going to be all over that. Um, uh, continue. We got one that says human being. Oh, there we go. Look at Beckham boy. Look at Romeo Beckham. That's that's a real genius casting, by the way. Casting Romeo Beckham in this look with the polo and the big baggy jeans and the shoe like this. That kind of looks like a an older picture of you know a, a a vintage picture of fucking David Beckham from back in the day. That's such a great casting, honestly. That's excellent casting literally david beckham's son in an outfit that david beckham would have worn in the past and the and the polo is really nice as well it's kind of twinkified i don't think someone like myself will probably look good in this polo it's a very twink coded polo um troy c van type of frame people would probably look really good in this and even him he's quite you know he's not the he's skinny but he's also not tall troy c van skinny he's still already filling it out but it's really nice it's almost a it's like a fred perry inspired balenciaga polo that's really slim and really small with obviously the G star inspired jeans as well. Look really fucking cool. And those shoes, I think the silver is probably the nicest colorway. The silver and the gold really make it look good. It's got a zip as well. So the silver colorway looks really fucking cool. And what's that? Is that a phone? Yeah, it's a phone with the black. I don't know what the phone's about. Is that, is that a wallet or I don't know what that's about there in the hand, but I like it regardless. Big up Romeo Beckham. We continue more looks again with the polo another look there is that cargo pants actually what's that yeah no more g-star i haven't seen any cargo pants actually i think maybe he might be off them oh i love this with all the layers on it as well this looks really fucking cool and also look at this hat this hat i think i said it before i think on twitter that i feel like this hat might have been inspired by like leonardo dicaprio because he loves covering his face with his hat and not allowing paparazzi to get an easy picture of him but you know just in general um celebrities being anti-paparazzi and kind of covering their face with their hat so I'm not too sure if this design of this hat is actually been designed in a way where if you wear it normally, the brim kind of comes all the way across your face or if this is just a styling thing and the stylist just kind of, you know, tilt the hat a little bit forward to cover the model's face. I don't really know. I would love it to be the opposite. I'd love it to be the, you know, the former. I'd love it if like it was actually designed in a way where you wore it normally and the, the brim of the hat covers your mouth and your face. But then behind here, there's some sort of transparent material where you can actually see through it. That would be fucking cool if that's the case. I doubt that's the case because I think that would be hard to design. To design or to, I don't know what type of material that you would have for it to look, not look transparent on the front, but be transparent behind sort of thing. I'm sure that does exist, but it looks really cool regardless in the terms of the actual um, look itself on the runway. And we've also got some new Balenciaga slides which look really fucking cool. 
I think you're going to see a lot of chavs wearing these as well. They look like it's two Bs back to back. They almost look like it's like a silver diamondy kind of effect. I think that's like a strap that kind of flaps over it. Maybe it's a Velcro strap, but these are going to be very popular because they've got big logos on them. So you're going to see people queuing up for these because they've literally got the biggest logo there on the front. So yeah, I don't mind those as well. We continue more looks there with the layerings and stuff, which I'm also fond of. There's the belt. Oh, okay. Maybe that actually, I, I, I've got it wrong. I think the logo, there we go. I think the logo on the sandals is the same logo on the belt. There you go. It's that logo there. You've got that logo, that kind of triangle metal logo. It's the same logo you've got on the sandals. Not too shabby, you know, not, not mad at them as well. I ain't mad at them at all. I'm not really the biggest fan of wearing sandals around, you know, casually. I think sandals should be worn on the beach or somewhere hot, but you know, that looks like a good look. I, I, I quite like that. Um, there's a Balenciaga priority luggage strap or little thing that you can add to your bag. I'm sure this is going to cost bucks as well. Maybe it's made out of leather, but it's fucking hilarious. They're making those sort of things. And again, you've got the hat that almost kind of basically covers the entirety of your face. I think it's been designed in a way where if you wear it normally, it just covers your face, you know, that's fucking cool. What a clever, what a little, what a really easy, what a really simple but clever idea. I really love that. And I hope that you can see from behind this. Actually, that'd be pretty cool. So you can actually walk around like that day to day. Fucking sick. Actually might be quite cool to DJ with as well, actually. Um, again, the visor. We continue there. The leather looks, the leather trench here looks really fucking cool. As does that trench as well. We got, oh, look at those trousers too with the extra bit of material there. I think there might be a jacket on top of it. Again with the visor look. The funnel look there with the jacket is really nice. But yeah, most of the stuff here I really like. I'm not going to lie. Oh, look at that big, look at those collars. They almost look like scarves, isn't it? That's fucking cool. So yeah, loads of good stuff there from Balenciaga. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's fucking wild. That's fucking wild. Look number 49. You've got these jeans that, I don't know. Are they, I think the jeans are a collar, if I'm not mistaken. I think that might be attached to the actual jacket. Yeah, I think that's a collar. I'm not sure, I'm not gonna lie, I think that's an actual collar. That's meant to be a fucking a lapel. Like you know you know like a blazer lapel? Instead of having the regular blazer lapel, I think you just replaced the blazer lapels with a pair of jeans. <laughs> that is so fucking wild. Wow, that is so fucking wild. <laughs> Imagine seeing somebody walk into a restaurant with that on around their neck. That's insane. That's really fucking cool, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not mad at that in the slightest. That is fucking insane. And actually, and I love that logo too, by the way. That B logo is really cool. Very AOL, um, early 2000, um, you know, what do you call it? Dot com boom sort of thing as well. Look to it. I'm not mad at that in the slightest. But yeah, look at them. Man. This might be one of the most interesting Balenciaga collections in a while. I'm not going to lie. As much as I love the clothing in general, I think... As a show, this is there's some really interesting propositions being set for here. Oh, the the, the hat with the spikes is gonna sell out. People love the hat the hat with the spikes. This is gonna be a very popular piece. I think I'm gonna see this quite often in Berlin when I'm there, or in, you know within my scene in general. The techno kids are gonna fucking love that that whole look entirely. Actually, with the long trench coat and that thing, yeah, that's a fucking sick look. I love that. Fuck you know that actually reminds me of like the peak era of fucking Vetema as well. That's really fucking cool. I love that look there. Look number 50. Um, continue on to the last few. Um, got some good women's look there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this person's walk was actually amazing, actually. Number 52, whoever this person was, their walk was fucking incredible. They were owning that runway. Look at the angles. Doo, doo, doo. Hips going one way, shoulders going the other way. Fucking, you know, face card, you know, where it should be. Bones sticking out where they should be. Loving it um continue 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 that was really nice as well actually look number 56 and then again we've got some of the final looks as well there so big up demna big up demna loved it absolutely fucking loved it